Well, I hope my brothers, sisters, fathers and mothers of all colour and race are good today. What a beautiful day it is here in the UK. Before I do this video, which is going to be controversial, let me just say, I love you all, I hear you and I see you. You're not alone, the pain you feel today, we all feel it. What an interesting few weeks we have had across the globe. While divisions have been created across the Western world, the leaders of governments voted to lead us seem to be hiding, only to come out every now and then to say that we have the rights to protest, but then state in another voice that the laws and sentences are being increased. At no time has anyone from the leaderships of these political parties actually come out and spoke or said we need to come together, we need change. What is going on here regards the division is nothing different than what is happening in the USA. Differences here in the UK, we have not got the guns freely available as they have over there. I want everybody protesting, shouting here in the UK, all, all of you getting angry to just stop for five minutes, reflect on what is happening in the world. On the weekend, divisions of our great society in the UK has suffered again. But what came out of this weekend was a picture of hope. See, there was a picture of a black man and his friends defending a white man from a crowd of angry protesters. This picture shows me one thing. We need to unite. Today we live in a world that only benefits the wealthy and top tier. We are in a class war across the Western world. We shout about slavery. We reflect on the past and blame those before us. Actually, the problem is staring us directly in our face. It is the governments we have elected. The ones we have not, the ones have not spoken out. I just sat back, watched the divisions happen. We see so much unrest. The only people who suffer from this outcry of anger is the man and women standing in uniform in front of you. Trust me, they're just as angry as you are, but they cannot display it. This weekend, I saw people angry on all sides. The ones standing in the middle taking the anger with the policemen and women in uniform. Everyone lashing out at them. It was a bit like a blood sport. But this weekend I stopped lashing out at the police because I reflected on my time in uniform while I served in the British Army in Bosnia under UN banner. See, the role was similar to the police role, watching two or three fractions fighting, but I was watching them killing each other. Some were best friends until the divisions, but they soon become enemies. My job was to observe, record, report, could not intervene until my life was threatened. So today, take five minutes and ask yourself, with all this division, who is the winner? Because it's not me, it's not us. It's not the protest, it's not you watching this. Why do we protest? We protest to be seen and heard for the people who control things to take action and listen, to make things better. The only reason these protests continue is because those people continue to bury their heads while the media play their games in stirring up the anger within the crowds and the protesters. Ask yourself why. For too long of a time, our class system has been broken. The majority of our people today out on the streets in the UK and the US are the lower class of the society. We all have one thing in common. It is nothing to do with race or colour as many of you would be led to believe. We all have faced oppression and feel like slaves. We struggle to get jobs. We have not got a pot to piss in. We struggle to pay our bills, feed ourselves or climb out of the hole of life and make a better life for our family. Race has nothing to do with it. This picture of the black man and his mates carrying a white man shows this. I wish I had their names so I could refer to them. 
but you know what I mean is gives me hope we need to change we have a political structure which has enslaved its own people while the actual politicians become the slave masters and give themselves pay rise they and benefit the wealth of the individuals and organizations while we suffer under the laws and rules they impose upon us they to keep us down and enslaved while they, they have their own laws i've got past the anger stage today i cannot be angry at the people fighting for their rights to be heard or seen if the slave masters cannot bring changes we want or need then us as slaves need to come together and form a political party to bring changes we have been shouting long enough the last two decades or more i have called for the leaders of these protests to come forward and meet let us bring use the following and bring changes for the people if our governments cannot and will not hear or see us then let's come together i ask the protest leaders of our men and women in uniform as well to come together because enough is enough boris johnson i've called you out many times and asked you to take the lead but you continue to seem to bury your head or hide away rather than becoming accountable and taking action as you were voted to do look enough is enough we have division here in the uk our people are hurting either you need to get some balls or take measures to form take changes or we will form a political party that can lead our nation and for the people i am not a terrorist before you start smearing me calling me a terrorist i served our queen and country i am a uk citizen who loves our majesty queen elizabeth ii and the royal family our and our people and what the uk stands for in the world what you seem to allow to be destroyed